Um, everyone's really good, so I'm a little bit nervous. Bear with me. All right, so I grew up with a lot of men in my family, and as a result, we talked a lot about the game. Uh, this is best described as a phenomenon that came into our lives in 2005, and which has been a family member since then, infiltrated completely. Um, the game is a book. Uh, at your local bookstore, you can probably find it under the psychology section. It's recommended reading for sales strategy, and it's also found under sexuality, because it's a book about picking up women. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, <laughs> So think of the most awkward man you know, right? He's so, it's painful. Uh, the book is written for the Marc Testiers of the world. And what it does is it breaks down everything that he does into teachable moments and helps him name them, identify them, develop strategies, and do better. And over the course of this uh, talk, I can only go into a few because it's so short, but I'm just going to take away highlights. And, oh, I'm going to just talk about highlights and takeaways. Um, and hopefully it'll be beneficial to Marc Testier. Um, OK, so the first thing that you learn how to do is peacock. If this was 2000, 2005, I would tell you to wear something interesting. But unfortunately, you actually can't get into clubs like that. So just dress better. That's the, really, the first thing that you have to know about picking up women. If you dress boring, you attract boring women. Uh, and then once you've identified the people that you want to talk to, you can open them. Um, this is not to say that you just go up and be like, hey, what's your name? Really, just say anything different. Literally anything that is not the same thing that people say about, like, you know, where are you from? And then once you want to talk to someone or you start talking to them, you can do something like Meg. You can employ this tool to, to give them a black, backhanded compliment. And this, again, this is really not to be mean and to be like, that t-shirt's ugly. You say something like, wow, you blink a lot. That's so interesting. <laughs> uh, and then when you are exiting a situation, you can try this thing called the kiss close. There are men out there who literally will point to their cheeks and just say, kiss goodbye. And it works, because I've used it. It works. <laughs> um, and I mean, you can learn all the openers and the negs that you, you want, but the best way to really bring it all together is to learn how to calibrate. Right? You are learning how to read a social situation. And that's what makes a really good pickup artist. Um, they can adjust to any situation. And one of the other principles that they employ is the three-second rule. So the three-second rule is that whatever you want to do, do it quickly, because otherwise you're going to um, lose your will or get creepy and stare too long and then chicken out. Um, another principle that you want to learn is the false time constraint. This is a tactic where you just come up to a person and you just assure them that you're not going to stay forever if they start talking to you. And that's also helping for, helpful for recruiting. Some of you could learn from that. Um, and then the next thing that you want to learn is cat string theory. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory. The cat, the string is dangling, the cat goes crazy, and then when the cat gets the string, it's all like lifeless and limp in its hand, and no one wants to be that limp string. So just learn how to read a situation. And the reason why all this works is if you think about what it's like to be a hot person, like anyone in Bond cohort, it's that everyone approaches you and the approaches are all the same. And what you really just want to do is learn how to break the mold. Wear a fake mustache if you need to. Anything different is helpful. Um, and this is why I really like talking about the game, because I really do think that all of these principles for seduction are helpful in other facets of your life. How many interactions do you have here that are just so mundane and repetitive and, and banal? Like, you just don't really want to do that. Um, so the lessons of the game, or that it teaches you, is first and foremost, you have to be resilient, right? Anytime you're getting shut down, you just have to keep trying again and again, because there are effectively um, an unlimited number of fish out there. Um, and secondly, you really want to just stop doing what everyone else is doing. Um, just stop being boring. Just do anything different. You can still be yourself, but um, try and break the cycle, break the mold of, mold of interactions out there. Um, and then third, uh, fake it until you make it. The best pickup artists are literally people who have transformed themselves into the people that they want to be. Right? They're charismatic. They're attractive to women. It's not lying. It's really people who have just like, worked extremely hard at it, and then they become those qualities. Um, but that being said, obviously, the game can't get out of control, because it's like the superpower that you get that's new, and then loses, it goes into overdrive, and you can't really, you become a jerk, basically. And that's why the game has a bad reputation as well. Um, and so what I want to say is that you know, I really recommend the game. It's excellent reading. Uh, and it, again, these principles are applicable to all facets of your life, but you do have to choose to use it for, for good instead of evil. Um, and this is the author, before and after pictures. 
uh, everything that I've said is true, and if you want to talk about it, because I only have five minutes, but it's really awesome stuff, and I highly recommend it, so go and change your lives and learn the game.